We, the representatives of a bygone age of actor, thank you heartily for your visit here and beg you as a souvenir to accept this modest token of our admiration. Well, very, very kind of you. Lady Jumaria. How do you do? Miss <laughs> Beaumont. <laughs> Mr. Herbert Marshall. How do you do? <laughs> and our own Irene Vembra. How do you do, Mr. Bowman? Thank you very much. It's very nice of you to come. Our rising young leading man, Mr. Frank Law. How do you do? How do you do? The Lyceum favourite, Miss Annie Saker. How do you do? <laughs> You're all being labelled, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jean Forbes Robertson. <laughs> That'll come out well, that little skip. <laughs> <laughs> and our dear old friend, Miss <laughs> Harry Ainley. Oh, oh, yeah, it's going to give us more pleasure. <laughs> Quite agree with you, Irene, dear. It's been a wonderful day, not only for our calling in general, but for this home in particular. Extraordinarily grateful to you for giving me the opportunity of seeing this wonderful home. It must be a great satisfaction to all the old people here in looking back over their past lives to reflect how much they have contributed to the happiness and the amusement of people up and down the British Isles. Few of us, when our time comes to enter some home, and may it be as delightful a one as this, will be able to look back with equal equanimity. There's something indescribably touching in meeting those who were contemporaries of the great figures we all remember when we used to go to the theatre as children. There is not one of us who has not at some time or another lost his heart to someone on the stage. This is no occasion for confidences. <laughs> and I keep, I keep all those matters, those dead and gone loves, locked up eternally in my breast. Thank <laughs> you.